Good day, my friends. A most incredible miracle of St. Faustina and the Divine Mercy. A young priest is walking through the hospital hallway. He's visiting parishioners and he sees a nun and the nun says, could you go into this room? There is a man in there. He doesn't want to speak to priests. He's ejected many, but he needs to because he is dying. The young priest goes in and the old man erupts and throws him out. The nun is still there in the hallway. She says, please, please, he's dying. Try again. So the young priest goes in and he says to the man, look, I'm not going to ask to hear your confession. I'm not going to offer you Holy Communion, but could I just sit and pray for you? The old man says, I'll do whatever you want. So the young priest sits down and starts to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The man shouts, stop. What is the matter, said the priest? There is no mercy for me, says the man. I will tell you why there's no mercy for me, said the man. Twenty-five years ago, I was working for the railroad. My job was to lower the crossing guard arm when a train would come to prevent cars from going onto the tracks. But one night I was drunk. I did not lower the crossing guard arm and a young family were killed, the parents and three children. They came onto the tracks and were hit and killed instantly. And that was my fault, so there is no mercy for me. It is all over. The priest sat there for a moment, fiddling with his rosary, and then he said, Where did this take place? And the man told him of the Polish town. The priest looks up and says, Twenty-five years ago, my mum and dad were taking my little siblings on a trip. I could not go with them. They were killed on that crossing guard. And I tell you now, that God forgives you, and so do I. The man, having received such mercy from this priest, who had lost his whole family, realised that God could forgive him, and he made his confession and received Holy Communion, and then two days later he died. When the priest left that man, he went back out to see the nun, but she had gone. He asked the hospital staff where she might be, but they said, we don't employ nuns. It took years before he found out he went to Vilnius, where St. Faustina lived, and he had to conduct a mass there. And he saw the picture on the wall, and he said, This was the nun I saw a couple years ago. But the sister said, No, Father, she has been dead since 1938. And he realized that St. Faustina is working from beyond the grave, still distributing God's divine mercy for all who seek it. God bless you, my friends.